team of Paranormal. Today we're here to discuss a new infrared camera we've recently gotten. It's the Vivitar 510N. You can pick one of these babies up on Amazon for $30 to $40. Fairly inexpensive, fairly good. And there's a few key problems a lot of people are complaining about. Really bad sound, really poor IR visibility for long distances, and the general lack of an ability to mount a tripod. We're going to take care of all these problems, and they're actually all pretty interconnected. So, one we're going to take care of first is the ability to mount to a tripod. There's a lot of videos involving gluing things to the bottom, this, that, and the other. Now, if your camera for some reason breaks and you want to go into warranty, don't think you're going to take it with a nut glued to the bottom. So, I'm going to show you how I made this nifty little guy, which will hold your camera in spot and allow you to do all kinds of nifty things. This is what your finished product should look like. It's kind of like a little pouch. It's pretty supportive and it's fairly easy to make. It consists of two main parts. You have your iPhone tripod and you have your Velcro strap. So with your iPhone tripod, you're gonna have to trim it down a little bit. I suggest you use a Dremel or some sort of rotary tool and please wear safety glasses. These little shards of plastic, if they hit you in the eye, they do hurt. So you're going to have a ridge line in the actual tripod mount itself and you're going to trim basically right on it all the way down. And then when you get to the actual bottom, it's going to be a flap right here that would hold that iPhone in, but it's not really conducive with holding this in. You're going to trim it down about a, cent about a centimeter. So once you put it all together and get it trimmed, it should look about like that. Now, obviously, you have the problem of, hey, it's going to fall out. So an easy way to solve this is pick up a pack of these Velcro straps and get them at Walmart for about $4. Put your sticky sides, one on each side of the actual tripod itself. And then you're going to put your adhesive on there. And you're going to stick it in there. Make sure it's tightened in there really good. You don't want it to slip out. And a good way to test it, flip it upside down. <clears throat> so that is how we solve the problem of not being able to mount to a tripod because now you have the screw on the bottom you can mount to a tripod or an IR extender but we'll save the IR extender for the next episode I hope you guys enjoyed our little tutorial on how to make the tripod mount for the Vivitar 510 i I'm going to put the link in the description bar below for the company that actually sells the tripod now remember if you have any questions about how to build this or how we built it Message us, comment below, any way you can get a hold of us, please do so. Now we're going to address the other two problems from the beginning of the video, the poor IR length and the poor sound in the next few videos in this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe, pass this along to your friends. That means a lot to us. So have a great day.